Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. We're on the menu today. I am making my family some smothered beefy burritos. So full of flavor, but it's a very easy dish to put together. Okay, on the chopping block right now, I've got an onion that I am dicing up, and then I'm going to place that in with my ground beef and go ahead and get that started. Okay, I'm going to add one tablespoon of some oil to my pan here. I've got two pounds of ground beef here. I'm going to start breaking this up. Now this will make about eight burritos. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and add my onions to this. Okay, I'm going to bring you back as soon as my ground beef is all browned up and we're going to add one ingredient to this that's going to make it really yummy for the inside of our burritos. Okay, my meat is all browned up and I drained it. Now, the ingredient that we're going to place in there to give that some really delicious flavor is red enchilada sauce. This is a 10 ounce size. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cook this for about two to three minutes and then we're gonna turn the burner off and we're gonna let this sit until we get the smothered sauce put together. I'm turning off my burner and I'm going to let this rest for about a few minutes until we get the other sauce ready. Okay, in a separate skillet, I'm going to add a quarter cup of butter, just about half of this stick here. Put that in here. What we want to do is melt this entirely. Okay, I've got all my butter melted. What we're going to do is add a quarter cup of some flour and we're going to gradually stir it in. And then we're going to whisk this continually for about two minutes. And what that will do is cook that flour taste out so it won't taste raw. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, we're going to add some chili, about two tablespoons, looks good, some garlic powder, go ahead and mix this up, I've got some cumin here, get that mixed up in there. Oh, it smells good. I'm going to add some onion powder. Once you incorporate all of your seasonings, we're going to go ahead and add two cups of beef broth, and we are going to slowly pour it in. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, what I'm going to do is stir this for about five to seven minutes until it gets nice and thick. We're looking for a gravy consistency. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and then we're going to start building our burritos. 
Okay, I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now, I've also preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So I'm just going to take some cooking spray and just spray along these sides and the bottom. We're going to set this right here. Okay, what I'm using are some burrito-sized flour tortillas. And so what you want to do is just take one, put it on the board. I'm going to take some refried beans, and I'm just going to take about a quarter cup here. <laughs> and we're going to place it in the, place it on this one side of the burrito here. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> now, if you don't like beans, you don't have to put this on here. Now, I'm going to be doing four of them with beans and four without. I'm not a bean lover, so I'll have some without the beans on there. Okay, I'm going to take my meat mixture here. I'm going to measure this, so I'm going to put about a quarter cup. Over the beans. And if you're not using the beans, then you can just put the quarter cup right on there. Because as I'm doing eight burritos and there's two pounds of ground beef in here, you know, we got to do the math and <laughs> a quarter cup will fill all eight of them. Okay, what we're not going to measure <laughs> is the cheese. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese here, or you can use Mexican style cheese, you know, the blended cheese there, Monterey Jack cheese, whatever you want. And I'm just going to sprinkle some right across the meat like that. All right, we're going to take it, the bottom edge down here, and we're going to start rolling it. Pull it in tightly. Roll it. I'm going to pull in the sides as we go. Keep everything in. We're going to roll into a burrito like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place it into our baking dish right here. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of them. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to place these in our oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes to crisp these tortillas up. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how we're going to finish these off. So I've pulled these out of the oven. Now what that serves a purpose for is to get your tortillas nice and kind of crispy and then it kind of bakes out that flour taste also. So what I'm going to do now is pour our gravy that we made earlier and I'm going to put that all over the burritos. Try to cover them all. Now I had seven of the burrito sized tortillas that I made right here and then I put two of the smaller regular size tortillas and I built two of those right there because apparently I didn't have eight. <laughs> that would be your son. Yeah. Somebody helped themselves. <laughs> he made a giant wrap. Yes, a giant wrap. This sauce, you guys, is so delicious. My husband tried it. What did you think? Oh, it's awesome. What does it remind you of? Uh, reminds me of the burritos in the restaurants. Yeah, that delicious brown kind of gravy. Yeah. What do they call that? Uh, I know there's a name for it. Brown gravy. Yeah. Brown gravy. <laughs> Cover up anything that's not covered. Because this sauce is so good. Okay, we smothered these with the gravy. Now I'm gonna smother it <laughs> with some sharp cheddar cheese. Or like I said before, you can use like the Mexican blend cheese or Monterey Jack cheese, whatever you got, whatever you wanna use. I think I threw some to my dog. Yeah, doggy <laughs> snack. Uh oh. She's on the other side though. Oh, she missed it. Now what we're gonna do, this is hot, so be careful. <laughs> 
We're gonna place this back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And what we're looking for is that cheese to get nice and melted and bubbly and a little golden brown. I'm gonna bring you back, I'm gonna show you what these look like and how we are going to garnish them. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven and then I garnished them with some green onions, some cilantro, and some diced tomatoes. And as soon as I plate these up, we're gonna add some sour cream to it also. Okay, let's go in for a bite. Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. That gravy right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm at a Mexican restaurant. Mmm. I'm so good. It smells amazing in the house. And I made some delicious Mexican rice to go with it. All right, you guys, tell me what you think. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up on this one. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Okay, I will see you on my next episode. All right, mm. but I got something I got to show. For all you ones that have been worrying about it. <laughs> I have them, a new jar of jalapenos, but it, well, it was new until I got into it. So, we're good. We're safe. The earth is safe. Everything's happy. <laughs> they're not going on my plate. Let me know if they're going on your plate. Oh, they going on my plate. Mm. Mm.